Good morning, everybody. Oh, I didn't see you there. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, everybody. We sure hope that you enjoyed the Witches Ball last night and God's concert. It was just amazing. We are here today to welcome you to our Samhain celebration, Circle Sanctuary's um, biggest celebration every year, to our full moon and our blue moon day, and just a magical day that we have in front of you. This is the third and final harvest of the year, and we're going to celebrate with you, hopefully. We're your hosts, the folks from Buttercup Manor. We call it that because our house is yellow. And, and just if you're concerned about our social distancing, we all live together. So, <laughs> so we, um, we aren't in, at any risk for contaminating each other, and that's why we're not masked. I'd like to introduce ourselves. Um, I'm Rev Reverend Minerva, a uh, minister from Circle Sanctuary. I'm also the deputy director of Lady Liberty League and um, one of the coordination team. So, Messina. Hi, everybody. I am Reverend Messina. I am one of your Samhain coordinators, go figure. And yeah. I also work on PSG for Circle Sanctuary. So, uh, I am Aviel, uh, not a minister. Um, if you're looking for me on Facebook, it's under Joe Lynch. I should have the little shield next to my name as also one of the coordinators. Um, I do a lot with Circle. Um, I don't do PSG or anything like that, but obviously I help coordinate the, uh, well, I mean, I do PSG, just don't do <laughs> um, And yeah. Hi everyone, I'm Raven or Marshall, um, mundane, magical. Uh, I am a longtime volunteer with Circle Sanctuary, as well as an attendee for uh, PSG and many of the other festivals we hold, and a previous office employee as well. Um, and feel free to reach out to any of the four of us at any point today if you have any questions, issues, or clarifications. Um, we also want to take this time to give some thanks to some people. Um, so thank you, especially to Florence. She has done um, an amazing job doing our film editing and video editing for this festival. She is absolutely amazing. Um, thank you, thank you so much for all of the work you've put in. Um, Jerry Miller, who's not part of this group, but he um, he's one of my friends from St. Louis. He donated um, the masks that are in the silent auction and he also provided the masks that uh, we wear in the ritual at the end of the night. So make sure you stick around for that. Um, Thank you to Chris for our tech, all of our Zoom, Facebook, live magic that you do, even hosting this one. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, many thanks to Dot the Bard for last night's amazing concert. Um, I know a lot of you were there. Um, he was so gracious enough to stay awake long enough <laughs> to do that for us. It was about two o'clock in the morning by the time he finished there, um, so we cannot thank him enough. Um, also, obviously, thanks to Selena, Sharon, Bob, all of the office um, personnel, Sharon especially for um, taking care of all of the registrations and the memberships and all of that for us. Selena, obviously, for, you know, providing us Circle um, as a place to do these kinds of things. Um, a big thanks to all of our presenters today, um, whether they be live or pre-recorded. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, and the biggest thanks of all to all of you guys for joining us today and being a part of this community. So thank you and welcome. Absolutely. Let's see, do you want to discuss what we're doing today? Sure. So we have an absolutely jam-packed day of programming today. Just a note, lots of questions on Facebook about this one. The schedule is listed in the announcement section, which is just underneath the main Circle Sound 2020 banner at the top of the page. So make sure to check out that announcement section. All of the times in the schedule are central time. So if you're in a different time zone, just go ahead and make those adjustments. Um, again, central time. Um, we will also be heralding 15 minutes before each program. So if you're having difficulty accessing the schedule, that will be a way that we can help to keep everybody on time. Um, and I wanted to just highlight a couple pieces of programming today. Selena's workshop is at 3 p.m. Central, 
and um, it is on cemetery rituals. And then this afternoon at 4 p.m., we have the Samhain ritual, which we here at Buttercup Manor, with a, along with a whole team, um, put together, and we're really excited about that ritual. Uh, some of our programming today is pre-recorded. Um, so if you're looking, like for example, the one immediately following this, um, the grief panel is pre-recorded. It'll pop up as a video in the group feed. If you want to ask questions or have comments, feel free to add those to the thread below the video. All of the presenters will be available during the time of the pre, um, that the pre-recording is playing that you can ask them questions and get those answers. If by chance we do have some technical difficulties, which we're not gonna have technical no. difficulties, Mercury is not in retrograde, we're never gonna have any technical issues. <laughs> just hold tight, we'll post comments if need be, um, but just give us, be patient with us and give us some time, we'll make sure that everything gets up and running. Um, and one last, one last thing, tips and tricks. If you're new to Facebook and you're unfamiliar with how to navigate the group, also in that announcement section above is a file on tips and tricks. Um, go there. If you can't find the answer you're looking for, feel free to message one of the four of us. And if it all else fails, refresh your page. Those, the little circle arrow, little circle arrow thing at the top. Um, near your web address bar that will help to refresh the page and bring the newest material onto the page. <laughs> and with that, I turn it over to Raven. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Um, and again, welcome to everybody here today. I'm going to discuss a little bit about our theme for this festival and kind of our um, grand idea as when we were putting it together and our guiding factor, as well as some additional engagement opportunities for all of you to help build that community and connect like we did so fantastically last night. Um, <clears throat> so in the announcement section as well, like Messina had pointed out, we do have a couple of threads going in there on ancestor altars and your beloved dead, as well as any of your um, uh-huh. Sabbath attire or decorations or whatnot. So feel free to check that out in your downtime or between uh, the programs and whatnot in order to kind of engage in that platform. Um, and introduce yourselves as well. We've got a thread in there um, just asking for people to do bios and kind of a getting to know you. Um, don't forget to ask questions during the workshops via the discussion thread. So each of the videos or live threads just below this down here, you'll be able to uh, comment and engage with the rest of the community that's <laughs> on. I'm currently seeing 78 people watching us live. So hi, everyone. Hi, hi everybody. Um, feel, you. Sorry, feel free as well to provide constructive feedback to us. So if you're having any issues or any problems at all, um, you can directly message any of the four of us or tag us in a post or a comment section. And we're all gonna be attentive the entire day to jump right in there for you. Um, additionally, uh, Minerva has posted quite a few times and we will be posting as well about donating to Circle Sanctuary and or becoming a member or upping your membership with Circle Sanctuary. Um, so these are uh, easy, tangible, uh, ways that you can spread out your payment throughout the year, a 12-month process, to make it a little bit easier to digest and still be able to give and support the community that we all love and uh, the programming that they're putting forward because of that. Uh, next up, I'll talk a little bit about the theme uh, for this festival, Spiral In or Spiral Out, Ancestors All About. We uh, had a couple different iterations of what we were going to do for our theme and our process for this festival. And when we really got down to it uh, with communicating with some of the other ministers, um, Moon Feather, shout out to you for uh, helping out with this one. Uh, we, we wanted to focus on the labyrinth that's at Circle Sanctuary's property that's on their land. It's something that uh, due to size and uh, festivals as well as the size of the labyrinth, we've never been able to fully engage it in a ritual space at one of the physical festivals that have happened. So we wanted to take that theme and kind of expand it and see how we could work with it. So some of our programs today, as well as our workshops, our engagement opportunities, they're all going to be focused on this labyrinthian idea of spiraling in or spiraling out. Your ancestors are always about. 
So what does that mean? It, when you're going through the hard times in life, when you're going through the best of times in life, your ancestors are always there with you. They're never judging. They're never um, looking down on you. They're always just standing beside you and supporting you in your path and in your journey. And I think that's all that I have. Um, so I'll pass it over to Abiel. Thank you. <laughs> um, yeah, so um, Raven was talking a lot about the um, engagement and the different programs that we have going on today, um, as was Messina. <clears throat> um, the one thing that I want to point out, because it's um, one of the big things that I worked on this Samhain, is the silent auction. Whoa. So um, it's the first time we're doing this virtually. Um, so thank you, thank you, thank you to everybody who's already participated. But if you haven't, um, you can go to the top of your page right up there. Um, if you are on um, a mobile device, there should be a button that says, or a tab that says albums, and you can go straight to the album from there. If you're on your computer, I believe the tab says media, and then from there you can access the albums. So all of the pictures are posted there. I believe there are 43 items in the silent auction right now, um, which is amazing. Thank you again to everybody who um, donated your time or your resources or your products for this. Um, auction. Um, a couple of reminders though, make sure that you are bidding in the main thread um, of the photo. Um, we've had a couple people comment um, as replies to previous bids. Um, if you want to reply to previous bids with comments or jokes and things like that, that's absolutely fine. Just make sure that your actual bids are in the main feed. Um, when we go through tonight um, and close that, um, we won't be looking at the replies. We'll be just, we'll just be looking at the main thread. So we don't. We just want to make sure that nobody misses out on something um, by accidentally bidding in the wrong place. Also, we haven't necessarily had this issue as much, um, but make sure we're bidding in full dollar amount increments. It can be as little as one dollar and as much as you want to give, um, but make sure it's in full dollar amounts. No, um, no cents. Ain't no cents in cents. Um, <laughs> The auction will close tonight um, at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. Um, so depending on where you are. We're still in daylight time. Uh, we are still in daylight time. 6 p.m. our time, <laughs> Wisconsin time. Um, so uh, now you threw me off, Minerva. No, <laughs> it's um, my job. So we will um, be going through at 6 p.m., which is an hour ish after the um, main ritual will end. So there will be time at, at the end of the night for you to make sure that you get your last minute bids in and double check the things that you are um, interested in. Um, but it will close at 6 p.m. We'll go through and make sure that we will put a final comment on everything, making sure that everybody knows the bidding is closed. Um, and then we will be contacting um, those of you who bid your items um, with um, instructions on um, how to pay, how we'll receive your items. Don't forget when you get that information um, that you will need to provide your address because we will be shipping them to you. Um, and that, that won't be coming from us. That will be coming from the circle, that communication. Um, so it's not going to be a Facebook message. It will be an official email from the circle office. PayPal um, invoice. PayPal invoice. Thank you. That's Sorry. what it's called. Yep. <laughs> um, words this morning are real hard for me. Um, and just as a final thing, none of this money is going to us. All of this will go to Circle Sanctuary proper, um, especially with the inability right now to have live festivals. Um, a lot of people don't think about the fact that the land still needs to be maintained. It still exists. It's still there. Um, so there is still a lot of maintenance, a lot of bills that have to be paid, um, a lot of office staff that I'm sure would still appreciate their salaries. Um, so all of this money goes to helping make sure that Circle Sanctuary um, can continue and, and can um, operate to its fullest. So um, again, thank you so much to everybody who's already bid. Um, thank you so much to those of you who haven't yet bid, but are going to. <laughs> um, and I hope that you guys um, are enjoying this. So um, that's really all I have. So now I'm going to turn it over to... Did I forget something? No, I'm Minerva. Okay. Uh, would Did you I get the hat? No, would you get the hat? We have a couple extra minutes, so um, we'll show you one of the hottest drool items. 
This is the hat. Put it on. Yay. This is that beautiful hat that everybody has been. And point of clarification, because I realized that the pictures didn't come out quite true to color. It is actually blue, not purple. Um, I did make that comment in um, the item description, um, just to make sure everybody knows it is blue, not purple. Thanks, so Andrea. now I'm going to turn it over to Minerva to finish us out. Thanks. We're going to take a few minutes just to set ourselves for the day. Um, just a reminder, as everybody said, watch your schedule. We have, after us, we have Brian Holt um, lighting and his team lighting the fire, the Sabbath fire, which will stream all day. And then the workshop at 1030 is grieving in socially distanced times. So that's pretty interesting. So sit comfortably, relax, close your eyes. Feel the space that you're in. Feel the time of year. Know that winter is coming. Feel the elements around you. If you listen, you can hear the leaves and the soft wind. You can hear the water around you. You can feel what warmth of the sun is still there. Connect with your feet to the earth and know that you're always surrounded. Call in spirit for yourself. <clears throat> Excuse me. Connect with the divine in whatever way works for you. Connect with everyone around you, and let's call this community together to celebrate the Sabbath, the third harvest, the full and the blue moon, and our final harvest of the year. After you call in spirit and feel the presence of the divine, call in your ancestors, call them by name, call them by group. If you don't know their names, just call them forth. They're the ones that walked before you on this land. They're the ones that were in your bloodline before you were born. They're ancestors of your heart. Anyone that you feel called to have with you, know that they're here. Know that they walk with you as we go through this labyrinth of life, spiraling in and spiraling out. Everybody? Spiral in or spiral out, ancestors all about, so mote it be. Enjoy the rest of the day, and next will be Brian and the Sabbath fire. We wish you all the happiest and best blessings of Samhain. Thank you. We guard this sacred land, land of the Menominee, Ojibwe, Oneida, Sauk, and many others. We see and hear those who have come before. They surround us, ancestors of our blood, our hearts, and our land. We honor those whose toil has made our lives 
in these spaces possible. We use fire to mark this honoring, to warm us as those who've come before have done. We ignite the fire to light our way throughout the day and through this blessed celebration. It is the third harvest in our entry into the dark and quiet time of year. We ask the elements to gather as our ancestors once used them. Fire to warm us. Air to feed the fire. Water to feed the earth. And earth as a foundation. We offer these blessings, these thanks, and this honoring. Blessed be. Thank mm -hmm. you. 